Hi guys, it's Ben here. So it's really quite strange, but I've been looking through some old email accounts recently and I've dug up some very interesting things, including a load of old games that I made dating back to around 2002. Probably some of these are a bit earlier than 2002, so you're looking at when I was, well, how old was I then? I don't know, 16, 15, something like that. Um, and I've not played these for years. In fact, I didn't even know there was any record of them and I really can't remember what's in them. So I thought it'd be kind of funny to uh, play them through and to share some of the footage with you if I can get them working. Now most of these were made with a bit of software called Adventure Game Studio back in the day. So this first game is called Bunny. Oh, here we go. Bender Productions. <laughs> Featuring an Iron Maiden MIDI soundtrack. <laughs> Sponsored by Help the Aged. Oh god, so these look like, yeah. That looks a lot like Max from Sam and Max. Click on the bunny at each interval. Be careful not to loose him. Excellent spelling. Oh right, it's like, uh, yeah. It's like one of those games where, you know, a ball under a cup thing. But with um, Max from Sam and Max. That is Max, right? Or is it Sam? I can't even remember. I think it's Max. And we've got, um, now it seems, Wasted Years MIDI file by Iron Maiden. Excellent. Ah, oh, cool. Right, so I'm keeping my eye on the bunny. Oh, terrible grammar. It should be, there should be an apostrophe there. <laughs> well done. Oh, this isn't too bad a game. Oh, God, it's quite complex. There's no tricking you. <laughs> Okay, what's gonna happen? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it just boots you straight out. Oh god, that's quite difficult actually for a screen to. Uh, most thrilling package of joy by Ben Hunter. This game may not be used in conjunction with any other stationary. What? I can't even read what that says. <laughs> Right, let's try that again. Right, that's the bunny. It's when the screen flips it, it becomes very confusing. I just want to hear that Iron Maiden soundtrack again. I think it's probably the same sequence each time. I don't think it's actually randomised. I'm pretty sure I couldn't code well enough to randomise it. There he is. I think I learned a lot of my artwork back in the day on, on basically the LucasArts point and click games. Right, so it's going to flip it upside down. Uh, it's that guy. Yeah! Uh. Oh god, is it broken? Ha! <laughs> okay, so that was very glitchy. Now you can blow the, their brains out. Again, terrible spelling. Oh, cool, we got a machine gun. <laughs> oh god, that's grim. In those wasted years. That's quite depressing, but strangely satisfying. Well done, you have completed the bunny game. How his annoying brother Andrew. Oh. <laughs> You can get rid of that pesky rabbit now. Oh, cool, more animations. <laughs> well, that was that's surprisingly good. Right, let's see what else we've got. Um, the next one is called The Manic Clown Game. Let's see uh, this one. Oh, hi kids, welcome to The Manic Clown Game. Before we start, I have to say that the creator of this game can accept no liability for loss or damage to your IQ level due to this game. <laughs> oh, he looks like Sideshow Bob. Now we've got that out of the way, it's song time. Okay, where's this going? Make sure you join in, kids. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. I forgot how random I was when I was younger. <laughs> Sorry kids, but oh, I seem to be a little hungover this morning. <laughs> My head feels like a cheese grater. I'm going to find some aspirin. See you later, folks. Hilarious. 
Oh, look at that funky walk cycle. We've got a chest of drawers here. A small broken square aspirin falls out. There it is. Whoa, some screen shaking effects. <laughs> the annual clown board meeting last night. Get on with the game. I'm not paid enough for this damn job as a game guide and a flipping entertainer. Right. Let's look out the window. <laughs> oh my god. Oh jeez, it's an old lady who flashes you. Oh man, I really can't believe I animated that as a 16 year old. Right, this is all very much Maniac Mansion inspired, this, this art style. Welcome to Pantless Pete's Pantorama, and he's got no legs. Oh god, a game of skill and dexterity. Alright, he's got some dialogue options. So what's the game about? Pick up that pair of pants over there. Get it right and you win a prize, but you only have one chance. It sounds like a load of pants to me. You have no legs. I lost those in a fishing trip. What were you fishing for? Sharks. Of course, there was no such thing as fishing rods back then. <laughs> oh dear. Why am I so entertained by my old jokes? You completely from the legs, uh, I mean ass upwards. Oh god, oops, I clicked through it too quickly. Well, my grandma never believed in clothes. She just wore a coat, so I followed her fine example. <laughs> okay, so that's a reference to the stripper at the start. She comes past here sometimes. You can see her from the large window in the other room occasionally. Right, what was the what was I supposed to do again? Pick up the pair of pants, hang them on the most humorous thing possible. Okay, so basically, oh, I can't. This has been over eleven years. I'm not going to be able to remember what the f most humorous thing is. I would presume it would be the swordfish. So let's get the pants. I see you have made your choice. That was called sawfish. That's <laughs> why so I didn't know it was called swordfish. How did I do? Yay. Key to get into the next door. Okay, no. Oops. Clicked it by accident. Cool. So, through we go. Whoops. Door is locked. Oh, yes. It's a very basic level of puzzles, isn't it? Welcome to the Splatterama. Grab your custard pies, splat the targets in any order you like, and have a great time. Excellent. And I'll take a pie. <laughs> We've got a queue of suspects here. They look like suspects. They're actually just unsuspecting victims. Let's go for the middle guy. Oh, it's all down my neck. <laughs> don't know what you two are laughing at. You're going to get it next. Oh, look at these crazy animation skills. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, dear. I should have put some music in this game, shouldn't I? I should have just ripped off another Iron Maiden soundtrack like last time. Right. <laughs> Excellent. The animation of him. Oh God, that's a bit. That's a bit strong worded there. I do apologise for that. I wouldn't say things like that these days. Gosh. I guess that uh, I. Yeah, I don't know. I'm quite shocked by that. What's this one here? The Grand's former. Reality altering properties. Although no one has ever dared to use it. Oh. Oh, I see. I've. Transformed into the, into the granny. Why do I reek of mothballs and ironing? <laughs> it's all dirty and smelly. That's what it needs. Excellent. I've trans, I've transformed into the granny. And now what do I do? Oh, that's the end of the game. Music. It says there was music. I didn't hear any music. Oh, sound sample load failure. There we go. I think there was supposed to be some sound effects there. But alas, I cocked it all up. Okay, so let's have a look at the last game. Which 
I believe is called Compensation. This was actually a full game that I managed to finish. Oh, I think I meant CD space comp. Um, let's see. Compensation, here we are. Uh, I think this one's supposed to have music as well. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. It's screen day, isn't it? That's screen day warning. Hey, Joey. Hey, Brad. <laughs> okay, so Joey and Brad are worried about their financial situation, apparently. You've got a great idea to get us back on the straight and narrow. Ah, uh, so his friend Bill got a compensation claim. That's why this game's called Compensation. I remember it now. All we have to do to get rich is to beat the shit out of ourselves with as many appliances as possible. So he's lent a video camera that we can make hard evidence. Now he has to go out and get stuff to decapitate himself with, and he'll set up the camera. So basically, yeah, the premise of this game was you earn money by causing yourselves terrible injuries. Compensation based. Oh, look at this. It looks like a racy mag. A plastic magazine, and it's spelt with an S. Gosh, I don't remember my spelling ever being this terrible. Alright. Unless that was intentionally badly spelt. And here's the old secret. I remember this. There's always a. There's always a trick where you have to. Uh, have to uh, try and explore underneath a rug. Right. <laughs> right. So I think we use this map to get around. Ooh, another jolly little song. Right. I don't even know what this is, this song. Let's go to a fireworks store, shall we? Oh, here's more Iron Maiden. We've got the trooper this time. Hey, hi there. Can I have some fireworks? You might say no. Of course I can't pay for them. Oh. <laughs> Random Elton John joke. Are these fireworks powerful enough to blow stuff up? That's not a suspicious question to ask, is it? Look at those dialogue animations. Two frames. Well, actually, technically one frame. <laughs> okay, so... Alright, seems I can't do anything here. Let's go to the DIY store. Ooh. Oh, that's Gary Moore this time. So, can I take the lighter? Got any heavy duty sort of tools? Yes, a chainsaw would definitely be good. Two thousand pounds? <laughs> uh, let's go for something cheaper. Oh. <laughs> I could cause some damage if I kept smashing myself in the jaw with it. <laughs> oh dear, this is actually kind of funny. I need something to beat myself with. <laughs> Oops, that's the end of the conversation. Hey look, there's Michael Jackson! Where? He's to the right. Oh, look at this. Yoink! <laughs> is he gonna fall for it twice? Yeah he is, he's to the left. <laughs> that shouldn't work. What's this? Uh... I can probably remember some of these puzzles. Right. So we got the nail through the porno. I seem to remember something to do with that. Oh, I'm really loving these tunes. MIDI versions of Gary Moore. Right. Fireworks store. 
I better save the game because I remember there being lots of glitches in this game. I think I actually cocked it up so much that you couldn't... Uh, areas where you couldn't complete. Right, let's use the lighter on the fireworks. <laughs> Alright, bitch! Now you're either going to give me a free firework, or you can kiss goodbye to your shop and your eyebrows! <laughs> Excellent, right. So we've got a firework now. Let's go back home and do some stunts. Let me set the camera up. Okay. So let's try the firework. <laughs> okay, Joey, start filming. <laughs> this sherbet stick tastes like dynamite. Surely it wouldn't make dynamite look so much like sherbet. I mean, that would be dangerous. <laughs> oh, there's a blowing your head up animation. <laughs> Decapitation. Well, that's no way to get ahead in life. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's an Austin Powers joke. Right. Dude, you don't die, remember? You're just an animation. Okay. So that's one death out of the way with. Now, let's go to the post office. I remember someone saying they liked this game and it reminded them a lot of Jackass. And more Iron Maiden. The bookcase, it's uh, to store books. That's it, yes. Why does that sound so suspicious? Wow, those MIDI ma Maiden songs are very piercing. I don't have any numbers to dial. <laughs> Revealing a secret doorway. Okay, so I need to distract the postie. I remember this puzzle, which isn't really fair actually. There's no ev there's no way of knowing. There's no way of knowing that that's what you're supposed to do because there's no hot spot on the wall. It's a very cruel puzzle that. <laughs> there's porn on the wall over there. All the puzzles in this game seem to be based on distracting people. All right, here we go. Cool, this one's got heaps of cash in it. Right. So I think I can use that cash to buy that chainsaw, presumably. Not exactly the most taxing of puzzles, are they? Right. Just give him bags of cash. Alrighty then, I'll take the chainsaw. T45 Supreme Destruction Chainsaw. Great. So, which one should we do first? Hammering myself in the head? I think someone actually reviewed this game on the uh, website. And they said it was quite violent. Here we are. <laughs> Roll the camera, Joey. Say, I hope I don't accidentally hurt myself while using this wonderful hammer. <laughs> this is silly. It does feel so poorly designed that I fear for my safety. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. That's so violent. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. So... Um, we should be able to use the chainsaw then. Start filming, Joey! <laughs> Could you hold it for me while I tie my shoelace? Be careful it doesn't accidentally slip out of your hand, though. <laughs> I don't even know how much I animated this. Oh wow, I actually animated this part. <laughs> If I actually was better at animation, this would be scary. <laughs> you don't die, don't remember. Okay, he's got enough injury footage. So let's have the tape. How do I get the tape off, Joey? Can I? 
Uh, I don't see any way of... Oh god, I've probably ended up glitching it, haven't I? supposed to know the number for the uh... am I supposed to know the number to call the compensation people because I've completely forgotten let's play one two three oh god I think I might be stuck in my own video game foibled by my own puzzles Possibly because I'm talking and can't concentrate at the same time. Oh no, there was a... There was an advert in here, wasn't there? No. I just wanted to hear some more trooper. There was an advert in the DIY store. Oh, oh what does it say? 01512. That's very small and pixelated. 01512. Oh one five one two. Hello, dial claim injury specialist. Ah, I figured it out. What do I need to make an injury claim? Hard evidence. At least three injuries. Okay, I've got all the evidence. Put it inside the package and send it back. Excellent. So presumably now I just have to go back home. The injury package has arrived. I finished making the video as well. Huh. Do I get to watch the video? No. I guess I'll just put it in there. Right. It's not exactly a puzzle now, is it? Now it's just... Basic mailing. Right. Here we go, postman. Here's what you want. Yay! A few excited days later. He's got a pimp cane and lots of blink. <laughs> oh, cool. Unless something goes terribly wrong to make way for a sequel. Not that I ever did make a sequel. Well, that was fun. Music was stolen from the internet. <laughs> Excellent. I wish that I could find some of the other ones, because I made a few more games, actually, but that's probably the lot. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and enjoying this bit of nostalgia with me. Speak to you all soon. Bye.